What's up you guys, Atticus Schaefer here, and uh, I want to wish you guys a happy 2019. Uh, sorry for that little bit of a rocky start to the uh, video right there. Um, I'm just learning this now because I want to bring you guys a new type of video here on the Atticus Schaefer Vlog YouTube channel. Um, so uh, the reason why I wanted to create a vlog channel is because I wanted to share with you guys what I like to do in my spare time. And one of the things that I love to do is I love to play video games. And so recently I figured out how to do a uh, screen capture, which is what you guys are seeing right here right now. Um, I figured out how to do a screen capture and I'm trying it out on a new game that I got and I wanna be able to share it with you guys. So this game today that we're gonna be playing together, this game is called 60 Seconds. And essentially what it is, is it's a very cartoony click and play adventure. And um, what it is, is it's set during the Cold War, and you're pretty much a family who, all of a sudden, uh, you get the nuclear bomb, air raid siren, and you need to get as much stuff as you can from your house within a 60 second time frame, seek shelter in your uh, fallout shelter, your bunker that you have in your house, and then you essentially wait and try to survive and make decisions to try to keep your little group, your little family alive. And you try to wait out until rescue. So we're going to be playing this today. I've only played a little bit. They have like a little intro training thing. I played through that. And I can tell you guys right now that this is going to be crazy. It's going to be fun. And uh, kind of a simple game. But this is kind of how I want to ease my way into playing video games with you guys here on my YouTube channel. So without further ado, I'm going to take my big finger right here. And I'm going to click new game. Uh, classic. So yeah, this is the drill that I did with this sergeant, sergeant mustache guy. And uh, what I want to do is, I think I, I actually don't know the difference between these modes, but I'm, I'm going to just start with Apocalypse and see, see what we can do. So, okay, the full atomic experience scavenge around your house for supplies and then survive the post-apocalypse in your fallout shelter. F fat man. Okay, so I guess that's the type of bomb that we're doing. Uh, let's see. Exploration time, 10 seconds. Health issues common. Uh, scavenge time, 60 seconds. That's that's why the game's called 60 seconds. Fragile equipment average. Unwanted visitors, some. Okay. Uh, stock shelter, some junk. Packed suitcase. Work briefcase. Trouble often. Okay. Alright, you guys. Let's see what happens. Ken Atticus... Uh, take his little group of people and survive the apocalypse, the nuclear apocalypse. Let's try it. Bam! Here we go, guys. Okay, so th I guess this is our house. And I hear a timer already. Oh, God. Oh, jeez. What was that? Okay, so it looks like we have an axe. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay, we're going already. We're going already. Let's grab stuff. Grabbing the axe. This is water, I think. Uh, oh, bullets. Um, oh, jeez. Uh, uh, we're just going to keep dropping stuff off. Grab the child. We're going to grab Timmy. Oh, rifle. Drop it off. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Uh, what else can we grab? Water is important. Uh... I'm, I'm bumping into everything, man. Water. Soup! Okay. To the shelter. Um, what's in here? Oh, a radio. That's important. They said it was important in the drills. Oh, jeez. Come on, come on. Drop it. Uh, oh, we're running out of time. Lady! I'm here. I'll save you. Briefcase. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's it, that's it, that's it. We don't have any more. Oh. That is nerve-wracking. And the nuke goes off. Oh, jeez. Oh, I did not see a gas mask. I didn't see a gas mask, but I got an axe. <laughs> we can chop wood, maybe, in our shelter? Because, of course... Oh, achievement progress. Okay, day one. Let's see. 
So we have... Oh no. I see a missing chair. Did we leave someone? That's gonna be so bad if we left someone. Hey look, a Boy Scout handbook. Okay. Uh, okay, so so what it is is, guys, is you, you have this diary here. And um, pretty much this talks you through what happens every day. And this is where you make your choices as to what's going on. So let's see what we have here. Okay, day one. Almost all of us made it to the shelter. Almost. Great. All we can do now is start thinking of creative ways to serve our canned soup. And vaguely remember stashing... Oh, we vaguely remember stashing some things in the shelter because there was no room for them upstairs. Turns out being messy can really work in your favor. It's, it, that's called organized hoarding. And uh, that's, see, that, that's evidence that that's something good to do. So we have our Boy Scout handbook, which I pointed out. Our shelves are full of cans. We'll eat from cans. We'll sleep on cans. We'll even talk to cans. Some of us already do. I bet it's that guy. Plenty of water means we don't have to worry about that for some time. That's good. Time to rations. Oh, gosh. Oh, little Susie. We didn't get little Susie, you guys. I feel so terrible. Okay, time to ration supplies. Um, so, what essentially what you can do is this is what's left of your food and water. Your soup and water. And you essentially ration it to everyone um, with every day. Now, I'm going to play it smart and and kind of really ration until they tell me I need to give something specific. So I'm not going to give anyone anything on the first day. And I'm going to just see where that leads me. So, okay, let's, let's, let's hoard. We've always wanted to throw a party with a huge cake. For some reason, it never worked. One time, we were promised a great cake, and it turned out it was a lie. That was a disappointment. We weren't glad. I wouldn't be either. We're definitely getting a cake when the radioactive clouds are gone. That sounds like a plan. And then here's a picture of a car. I'm guessing little Timmy drew it. Okay, so that was day one. Day two. This guy here is looking a little scruffy. You hear the, uh... What's that device called that tells you the radiation? Anyway, I hear it. Planning far ahead is usually a good strategy, but for now we should... Be more interested in our plan for water rationing. Okay, that sounds good. Timmy is on his best behavior. How long will it last? Dolores is doing quite well. Or she just can't find anything to complain about today. Well, okay, that's honest. Ted says there's no need to worry about him. He's okay. Alright, that's good. Time to ration supplies. Okay, today I'm going to give everyone soup. So, bam, everyone gets soup. And actually, that's... That did not take that down as far as it did. I thought it was going to take up, like, all three of these cans. And it didn't. It just took up part of this one. So that's good. All right. We played a game of list the things you hate the most, and our neighbor's name kept coming up for some reason. I can understand that. I've been there. That reminded us that the little weasel had a safe in his living room. We always wondered what's inside. Maybe now's the time to finally find out. But who will do the honors of stealing the possessions of our arch nemesis? Who should go outside? Um, due to the fact that we just had a nuke go off? See, see, th I'm a curious gamer, right? So when, when you bring up something like that to me and it's worded that way, of course I'm curious. I want to see what's in the safe. So... I'm gonna, I'm gonna send, uh, the old Papa Bear out. We need to, we need to even the odds against our arch nemesis neighbor. So, Ted, go out and show him who's boss. And he's sick. <laughs> oh boy, Ted doesn't look too hot. That, yeah, he needs a Kleenex. Please let it be worth it. When we opened the safe, we heard a loud bang in the room filled with thick, nasty smoke that smelled of rotten eggs. Great. That, bad word, booby-trapped the safe. Sure, it slowed us down, but it didn't stop us from taking his most prized possessions. Take that, Ned! Too bad we won't ever get the stench off of our clothes now. Great. But we did get a first aid kit, which is super important in this game, from what I saw in that little trial thingy. Ted has safely returned from his voyage to the surface. Yay, Ted! Timmy Timmy has been talking about nothing other than water. He should drink some. Dolores has to drink sometimes. Yeah, okay. Ted became infected with something. Okay, so today's going to be a water day. And I want to get Ted better. So we'll take the first aid kit that we took. 
and use it to make him better. All right, so water for everyone, and he gets first aid. Let's do this. Our neighborhood is still highly radioactive. Trips to the surface are a big risk to our, to our health right now. Ted is vigorous enough to withstand the hazards of the wasteland. Dolores is confident she will survive outside. Timmy is in good health and full of optimism. Should we start preparing an expedition for tomorrow? Ah, uh, I, I want to give it a day. I'm going to give it a day. Let's, let's let everything calm down. You know, let's let the radiation kind of settle. So I'm going to hold off. We could have sworn that huge puddle of water wasn't there earlier. And there goes another one. Oh, damn it. We're getting flooded. Let's grab some of our supplies before they start flooding. Okay, so electrical stuff, to me, is one of those things that, like, you should not stick in water. So I'm going to take the radio. Can we take more? No, okay, we can't take more than one. Then, yeah, I'm taking the radio. Bam! Okay, four. I'm excited about this, you guys. That well, looks like Ted's better. Hopefully we can survive. Looks like our map is ruined, though, and there's... There's water everywhere next to a socket. Yeah, that's that's nice. All right, the radio we rescued first before any of that filthy liquid got into its case. It wasn't long before most of the water disappeared, but the damage it done was enough to upset us. I'd be upset too. Cleaning and fixing this mess will take us days. And what's that smell? Minus map. Like the good scout he is, Timmy is making the best out of this situation. He even seems cheerful. Hey, that's good. I remember when I was in Boy Scouts, the motto was, Be Prepared. So, little, little young Timmy is taking that to heart, making the best out of the situation, and he has his manual, so I think we're good there. Dolores is doing quite well, or she just can't find anything to complain about today. Ted has recovered from his sickness. Yay, Ted! Alright, time to ration supplies. Because they didn't say they needed anything, I'm going to just not give supplies today. Because everyone seems to be doing okay. So we'll see what happens. Bam. Our neighborhood is still highly radioactive. Trips to the surface are a big risk to our health right now. Ted is happy to risk his life in the wastes. We can send Dolores for an expedition. Timmy seems quite enthusiastic about the trip. I don't think so. So, because it's still highly radioactive, let's see what happens. Maybe we'll hear something on the radio or something. Maybe we'll hear news of rescue. We stumbled upon a weird signal when changing radio frequencies. Okay, that's ironic. We're pretty sure that behind layers We're pretty sure that behind layers of terrible static and screams, we could hear a voice. A voice speaking in a foreign language. Oh dear. What if it's the Soviets? We should probably listen to it. But what about the children? What about the children? We we kind of I would spy in. I mean, I would spy in if I was you. Let's see what happens, Mr. Angry Face. If we listen in to the Soviets, or the possible Soviets. Timmy's a Boy Scout. He should know all the good... All the good stuff. Okay. We were relieved at first when we figured out it wasn't the Soviets we heard. Turned out, it was Canadians! Which isn't that much better. Well... Either way, they're foreigners, and we couldn't understand what they were saying. Not a word. How disappointing. It's because they, they have their big accent, and they say A all the time. Or it could have been the Canadians from Montreal, and they were speaking French. That's another thing. Is it Montreal? Yeah, anyway. Timmy seems okay. As much as he can be in our current situation. Dolores is quite calm, given the situation. Ted says there's no need to worry. Good to know. About him. He's okay. All right. Time to ration supplies. We haven't given soup in a while, so I'm going to give everyone soup today. And let's hopefully that balances everything. Our neighborhood is still highly radioactive. Trips to the surface are a big risk to our health right now. Ted is vigorous enough to withstand the hazards of the wasteland. Dolores is confident she will survive outside. Timmy seems quite enthusiastic about the trip. Again, part of me really doesn't want to send anyone out because it says it's still highly radioactive and we used up our uh, first aid kit already. So if someone gets sick, we won't be able to treat them and we don't know what they're going to come back with. So let's see. Let's give it one more day and see what we can do. See what comes up. 
There has been some radio chatter about airdrops from the military. It's about time. All those, t all those taxes had to pay for a cr crate or two for us, right? Shall we head out to get them? No, because we don't have a gas mask, so we can't go out. Dang it. Ah, oh, that sucks. I didn't even see a gas mask in the house. You guys might have, but I, I did not. So, yeah. Okay. Everyone seems to be okay. Let's look. It was too dangerous to go out there without any protection, so we decided to stay indoors and listen to the radio. The static is so relaxing. Timmy doesn't need much, but he should drink. Water is all Dolores wants. Ted needs water to survive. Okay, so it's a water day. Bam. Water for everyone. The, con the contamination of our town is still strong. Scavenging in these conditions could result in radiation and sickness. Ted is happy to risk his life in the wastes. We can send Dolores for an expedition. Timmy can do it. Timmy can go to the wasteland. No, I don't think so, Timmy. Should we start preparing an expedition for tomorrow? Okay, because it changed up here, I and and we are getting low on supplies, and the the expeditions to surface can take a while. I do want to send someone out, and I'm probably I'm probably gonna send Ted. So let's prepare an expedition for tomorrow. Oh dear, we just remembered we planned on taking a trip south in two months. If it's still there, we are going, right? We're pretty sure they don't have bomb warm. They don't bomb warm places. <laughs> and Super Ted. Super Ted logo. Sweet. Alright, let's see what we got here. Ooh, snoring. I hear snoring. Is someone in our shelter? <laughs> Our relocation is probably something we'll be able to discuss after we get out of here. That's true. Always take it one thing at a time. And we survived a week, which is good. No news is good news. There's nothing new going on with Timmy. Life is hard for all of us right now, but Dolores is in a good mood today. We hope it'll stay this way. There isn't much going on with Ted. No trouble. Nothing new. Okay. Iron ration supplies. I'm gonna... No one's complaining about anything. So I'm gonna let the supplies simmer... Because we got to send Ted out on a trip to get more. So let's see what he gets. It's about time we, cho we chose someone to scavenge the remains of our town in search of supplies. Who will it be? The wasteland awaits. So I'm going to pick Ted. And... Uh... Well, okay, so this is what to take with us. Um... Because I, it said that the ammo and the rifle were two totally separate things, I'm a little bit worried about just taking one. And I think what it is is you need a briefcase to carry more. So I'm going to have Ted take the Boy Scout book. And maybe somehow, some way, that's going to identify something for him to get. So let's see what he can find. Good luck, Ted! See what happens. Okay. A bam. Like the good scout he is, Timmy is making the best out of this situation. He even seems cheerful. Today was relatively calm for Dolores. Ted left for the surface. We hope he'll be back soon. And he left with the Boy Scout handbook. Alright. Good luck to Ted. Time to ration supplies. Again, no one's complaining about food or drink. So I'm just going to not give them anything. And, and ration it and stretch it real thin as best as we can. So, yeah. Play a game, they said. It will be fun, they said. They never mentioned picking one would be so much trouble. Quack. Or is that a chicken? I'm not sure. Oh, I hope Ted makes it back. These two seem to be all right. We thought playing the silent game would be a good idea. The silence was too annoying and we quickly stopped. Timmy doesn't need much, but he should drink. Water is all Dolores wants. Okay, so today is water day. But bam Water for water for mom and son. The problem is simple. If we don't wash ourselves, we'll get sick. Seriously sick. It smells really bad down here and doesn't seem like it'll get any better over the next couple of days. How about we do something to fix it? Why is bullets an option? Uh, due to the fact that bullets are the only option, let's see what they mean by this.
Yay, 10 days! Everyone seems to be okay. Nothing blew up. Dirty or not, it's the smell that's the biggest issue here. How do we deal with that? Well, we've got some spare ammo, so why not use the gunpowder to kill the smell? Oh, okay. Let's rub it in. Sounds like a brilliant idea. Yeah, that's good. Smell like sulfur. Timmy might not look like it, but he's a strong young boy. He's doing just fine. Dolores is quite calm, given this situation. That's good. Time to ration supplies. You're not complaining about anything, therefore you're not getting anything. So, so let's, let's keep it be, and hope Ted returns soon. We know very little about what's going on outside. It'd be a good idea to find out more, maybe discover if anyone else made it to safety. A radio could help with this. Okay, well we have our radio and we saved it from the flood, so let's let's hear what's going on. Let's see what shenanigans await. Day 11. We were able to get a weak signal and tap into government's emergency announcement service. And guess what? Great news! The fallout outside has mostly gone. It should be much safer to travel on the surface now. That's good since we sent Ted out there without a gas mask. Timmy is on his best behavior. How long will it last? Everything seems okay with Dolores. Time to ration supplies. You know what? It's been a few days since we gave soup. So I'm going to give everyone soup. And uh, hopefully that will make them feel nice and warm inside. Spiders seem to be operating under the assumption that they have all the same rights to the shelter as we do. They're everywhere and don't seem very scared of us. It's time we change that. We don't want any more spiders in our soup. No, sir. So, I have acute arachnophobia. I would hate to have spiders in the house. Or, or in the house or in the shelter, I should say. Um, but of course, guess who we gave our Boy Scout manual to? And who we used the first aid kit on. Yeah. The guy who's not living in the spiders. So we can't do anything about it. Great. Oh boy. Ah! He came back! See, you just have to complain a little, and then so what's his face will come back. Hey! Look at what he brought back! That's good news! We decided we could get rid of those spiders with our bare hands, feet, and whatever other body parts we could use for lethal anti-spider attacks. That's a good idea. That's what I would do. Unfortunately, they've underestimated... We've underestimated their chances. They're really fast. All we achieved was getting tired. Maybe we'll have more luck next time. Ted has safely returned from his voyage to the surface. We spotted an untouched store with many products inside. Even food. Hey! Different than tomato soup. Hey! A real treat in these post-apocalyptic times. When we were about to reach it, a terrible noise made us stop in our tracks. Oh. Something heavy fell straight from the sky, crashing into the store and destroying it completely. After dust settled, we realized we were looking at a spaceship. Just like in Timmy's comics. Could it be saucer men from Mars? Then why does it bear American flag? Then why does it bear American flag on the side and the logo of something called Astro Citizen? Could it be infiltration? Crafty little alien buggers. That reminds me of that movie Signs with Mel Gibson and the guy from Gladiator. That was a crazy movie. Alright, someone stuffed a bunch of items into a big sock. Not sure how the sock made it through the crash, but it somehow succeeded at protecting the supplies inside. Yeah, because the first thing I think of is putting a gas mask in a big sock. We were tempted to take a bunch of jewelry that was rolling around the debris, but what would we do with it? Instead, we adopted some things that survived thanks to being stuck in an empty space helmet. Hey, soup! I'll take that. That scout handbook was really useful. Too bad we lost it during the expedition. Hey, gee, thanks, Ted. Some water for Timmy would be nice. Dolores has to drink sometimes. Ted's stomach is, gr is rumbling. Okay. Ted is really tired. Okay, so he's back, so we're going to have him rest, and we're going to give him all water. Oh, okay, that's cutting into the water supply, but okay. We had thought phone calls were a thing of the past after the atomic bomb obliterated everything in our little town. What? However, a phone booth on our street somehow survived the bombing somehow. It seems to be ringing right now. We should send someone to answer it. Okay, so because Ted is tired, I'm going to send Dolores, because she's next in line in the, you know, who, who do you send out? Because you don't send out the children. So, let's send out Mama Bear and see who's calling. Okay, you guys, here's what I'm going to do. It's been, you know, a little bit of time. We're at about 21 minutes. 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop right here and I'm going to make another episode of our survival story here in 60 seconds. So if you like this video, guys, please hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, share it with your friends. You can also find me on social media, uh, which I always talk about. I'm on Instagram at Atticus Schaefer Vlog and Facebook at the official Atticus Schaefer fan page and Twitter at Atticus Schaefer 2, the number 2. So you guys, please subscribe, please follow me, and let's see what that big old phone call shenanigan was all about in the next episode of 60 seconds all righty you guys see you later peace